Whoops, sorry, I forgot to add myself to the stream. All right, let's get this a little better position. There we go. Bring that into focus. I think that's reasonably good. Center that up a little bit. Sorry about running late, everybody. It's pretty uh, toasty up here. That's weird. Um, some reason it was uh, that old pop-up display thing that wasn't where it should be. Okay, so it's been a little bit of a while since I've done this. So let's see if I remember. To the left, to the right, full snug. And quarter cross, quarter back. Okay, so cross and quarter back. Okay, yeah, that's the right way that's supposed to look. And there. Blue to blue. Purple to purple. Red to red. And black to black. Hope you folks are doing well. Uh, hello, uh, Texas. Uh, Nana and Gwendolyn, nice to see you on. Let me move this a little. I can actually see the screen a little better. All righty. Um, it's a little bit late because, A, it's really, really warm up here, and I didn't want to come up any sooner than I had to, unfortunately. And I was enjoying a very lovely dinner that my wife had made for the 4th of July. It was burgers and brats along with uh, baked potatoes, uh, grilled uh, bell peppers and onions, uh, broccoli, and uh, what else was there? I think that was it. Um, the uh, and it was quite tasty. I enjoyed the uh, uh, grilled peppers and onions the best. And apparently, uh, I have a uh, six-pack case of the uh, Boldak or whatever it is um, ramen that uh, you can get from Korea that happens to be super, super spicy. I got the single X and the two X hot ones. Uh, it's basically chicken with a cheese sauce or chicken flavor with a cheese sauce. And I went ahead and tried the regular one, which is kind of a yellowish orange label. And it was so freaking hot that I was just barely able to eat it. Enough that it's like I offered the rest of it to anybody who wanted it because I just was not up for handling it. Um, I mean, I could eat it and I'd be okay, but it was not a experience I wanted to repeat regularly. I may eventually get myself up to that level, but I'm not quite there yet. But at the same time, I'd gotten a box of the Black Label 2X um, stuff, uh, which I have to say, I'm kind of legitimately scared of it. Um, but it does look like uh, it would be tasty. And I've heard that apparently there's a 3X heat one, which I just, I'm not getting anywhere near close to that. But there is a very nice um, Korean market not too far from where I live uh, called Aussie, A-S-S-I. And you can go to their website, Aussie.com. And they have a wide variety of Korean, some Japanese, some Chinese foods, some Indian foods. And um, uh, the brands that tend to be uh, Hispanic related in my, our area, Goya. I'm not sure how large it is nationwide, but they have a lot of those uh, brands there. Uh, they also got a lot of nice cooking accessories. You can get rice cookers. Uh, you even saw at one point they had a little mall area as part of it where they had like high-end bidet seats. 
um, the uh, uh, the marble uh, futon type beds that you know heat up or cool down. I think they mainly just heat up. You can put your futon on, and when it's cold, you warm the whole thing up. Um, so it was an interesting. It's an interesting place, and I like shopping there. So anyway. Um, but uh, uh, Ian and Legal Vices were talking about that on Twitter today. So I took a picture of my uh, case of death um, or case of heat death, however you want to look at it, uh, that I had in my car that I eventually need to get out. If I knew somebody who would want it, I'd be happy to send it to them. I'm thinking of sending it to Ian, but... Given it's a food product crossing a border, I'm not sure that I'm allowed to send that. So uh, it's also just slightly past its uh, best by date, but it's ramen. So assuming you open it up and it looks okay, I'm expecting it. Nothing will have really uh, had an issue with it. But I probably should just toss it because I don't know anybody who uh, is not really, really good at. Uh, handling hot food that would uh, I'd be comfortable giving it to. So it's been a very frustrating weekend for me. Um, I had the uh, AC just about set up, got home from work uh, a little early um, Monday, hooked up the second to last connection, then was hooking up the last connection. I was uh, following the torque settings that uh, the manual said to use, and either the manual was wrong, there's something wrong with my torque wrench, or I wasn't using it right, though I have used torque wrenches a fair amount before. Uh, I think the primary thing is it's something was wrong with the torque wrench and it wasn't breaking over when it should. And I stripped out all the threads on the quarter inch line service valve which uh, I don't know if you're familiar with mini splits, but uh, to take it off and, re and replace it, you have to be able to collect all the refrigerant and then put the replacement on. And while I probably have the uh, sufficient skills to be able to replace it, I don't have the tools necessary to collect the refrigerant, pump it out and pump it back in. Uh, I've got a vacuum pump, but uh, that's not going to allow me to transfer it as I understand it. So... I am stuck. Uh, it's a holiday, so nobody was really around uh, late enough in the evening when it happened uh, Monday. Uh, and I wound up uh, emailing a couple places. I got a response back from one that says they're on vacation until Monday. So there's a couple other places I can call tomorrow when they're likely to be open. I'm not willing to pay emergency rates to get somebody out to fix it uh, today. Because, uh, I mean, I've, I don't like it. I'm not as clear thinking. And it's probably not doing anything good for my health. But a couple of days is probably not going to break me. So I'm just... Oops. Come on. There we go. So I am going to call a few places tomorrow. If I can't get a uh, reasonable price um, to get it fixed, I'm going to go ahead and just order a replacement unit and eventually get, you know, swap out the the, comp uh, the condenser thing and redo the lines. And I can, as time permits, get the necessary uh, equipment to fix the one that's broken. And then I'll have a hot spare, so to speak. Or if my wife lets me, I can add it to a room in the house once I get it fixed. But uh, apparently, despite all the instruction videos and my experience using stuff like that, you're not supposed to uh, torque flare, foot flare fittings with a torque wrench. You're supposed to just pull them tight, and that's just kind of an upper limit. But uh, at least that's what I've been told. So let me catch up here on the chat. There we go. Hey, Jen, welcome on. Yeah, it, it sucks about the AC. So anyway, if I can't, but 
the reason what I was trying to say about the reasonableness of the price is that um, if it's more expensive than buying the replacement unit, which is spendy but not super spendy, uh, it's in the range where a service call could theoretically be more than that. I'll just buy the replacement unit and do it myself. But if I do that, I won't get it until Monday or Tuesday anyway. So uh, I'll have to make the decision fairly quickly tomorrow as to what I'm going to do. Won't be happy about it, but like I said, it's not necessarily money lost. It's just more like money invested in the future. Okay, purple to purple. Red to red. Black to black. White to white. Green to green. And it wasn't helped by the fact that I had to like get the nut off the uh, flare fitting without theoretically damaging the threads if they were salvageable. If I could have done that, then I would have been fine. But nope, the threads on the nut were perfectly fine. It's the threads on the flare uh, valve that were shot. Okay, and I forgot to uh, do the length of the uh, thing. So this is our starting, there we go, our uh, starting length. So anyway, so I've been very frustrated this weekend. Um, in the meantime, I've been trying to uh, get my garage cleaned up a little bit more, especially for when uh, somebody comes over. Speaking of which, I just realized I have not closed it up for the night. So when I'm done with this uh, stream, I'll have to run out there. I don't think anybody will have uh, walked. Actually, no, I did close it up. Yeah, I knew I was going to be out for a bit. It's kind of what I was... Um, talking about how heat does not do my brain good. Um, so, Speaking of brains doing good, I don't really have a family history for cognitive problems prior to the late 80s, but to uh, do my best to avoid it as much as possible, I make it a habit of doing like uh, brain teaser type uh, activities. I... Uh, play solitaire, you know, online solitaire and Sudoku, uh, well, not online the computer, the uh, Microsoft games uh, version. And uh, uh, I recently started doing Mahjong because I want to get my brain into problem solving mode. Uh, you know, kind of use those higher brain functions, uh, keep them active. Uh, I also can tell when my I'm getting tired or I'm not feeling well because I do uh, fairly obviously poorly with horror when that happens at the games. So, and they're fun to play. But in about a month and a half, I'll be turning 55. And I'm running out of time to do projects before I start on my vacation job, which is just under three weeks from today. Uh, so I'm trying to figure how far I can get on uh, getting Rob's braid set up before I go. Uh, I won't be taking the Takadai with me, but I'm going to be taking at least two and possibly three Maro dies with me. I'll see if I can't um, run uh, two or three braids simultaneously. Do some live streaming on that. Um, maybe do like uh, one or two quick braids. Oops, nope. I'm ready for this part. Um, whoops. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, do one or two uh, quick braids uh, that go progress quickly. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to live stream because I'll probably have to be relying on my cell phone connection. And there's going to be about 15,000 people out there. So I might wind up uh, doing short videos and uploading those uh, at night when I have access to a uh, dedicated connection. Uh, it does not be a good streaming time, but I can uh, set the video to upload and if it takes like five or six hours to get up there i'm still good for that because nobody's going to use that connection or that computer to do it until i get back in to work in the morning 
Okay, so to the left, to the right, pull the snug, counter cross, counter match, and green to green, blue to blue, purple to purple, red to red, black to black. So the main projects I have to get done before I uh, head out is I've got to make a box for that counter thing that I made so that uh, it looks nice. I also need to uh, finish the other sign that I'm making, which needs to be glued up uh, fairly quickly. Um, and then my wife is going to uh, sand and paint it. Um, And let's see what else was there. Probably figure out which uh, braids I'm going to do while I'm out there. I think I can get this one done prior to that point. So if I do that, this will be finished before then. And I'll look through and see what other braids people have suggested in the uh, chats and whatnot. If I can, I might do a new poll. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. But I might pick a couple of ones that I would like to do and see that I haven't done online, see what people would like. Okay, counter cross and counter back. And purple to purple, red to red, black to black, white to white, and green to green. So, once I get the AC installed, I'm going to try and uh, get geared up to where I'm actually uh, making a bunch more projects, streaming more, things like that. Uh, the lead programmer where I work for my day job did indeed retire this week, and uh, or last week actually. Um, though it hasn't really kind of kicked in yet because it's only been one day. And we were closed today, and uh, yesterday it was just kind of keep a couple of jobs running. So tomorrow is essentially the first day where it's like mostly me doing the programming. And in the three weeks before I go on vacation, I've got to teach the other guy I'm working with, uh, who admittedly is also a programmer and has experience, uh, what he needs to do to be able to keep the machines up and running while I'm gone so that they can... Uh, keep production going. So three weeks in the new job and then three weeks vacation job. So it's going to be an interesting month and a half. See how what I forget and whatnot by the time I get back. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me catch up on the chat. Okay. So it looks like we're not too far on that. Thank you for the congratulations. I appreciate that. And, uh, for those of you who uh, catch Ian's stream and his uh, uh, doing the Friday stream because Rob wasn't available, uh, I did a super chat there. Ian was just starting to get into uh, doing a uh, little spiel about me to suggest people check out my channel. And Kurt super chat blocked me. That was mildly frustrating. But not a big deal. So, he's thinking about saying something, but I know he tends to uh, take some things a little harsher than they're intended. So, I figured it's not worth it to make him feel down for something he probably didn't realize that he was doing. Uh, so, anyway, let's see. Probably should drop these a little bit. Some of them are getting old high. Thank you, Gwen. Appreciate the congratulations. And uh, now the, one of the fun things is um, our roommate has a bit of issues getting around. Um, so last year at this uh, event we go to, uh, we got rented her a mobility scooter, which made 
her life a lot easier. But the place we rented it from now um, doesn't have any inventory available this year. So we got to figure out what we're going to do about that. Some of the other places we've looked at, it's like 45 bucks a day for the rental. Uh, to give you an idea, the uh, last year when we did the uh, rental, we did it for three weeks, but we did it at the monthly rate. And it was only like about $250 for the month. So, and looking at some of the scooters on like uh, Amazon, an equivalent unit to what she had is something on the order of like about between six and nine hundred dollars. So we're thinking about whether or not we want to like, you know, buy her uh, one and keep it out there or want to buy it and transport it so she has available here. Uh, it's just more last minute frustrations. Okay, pull that snug. Let's see. Let's go a little bit more. Apparently, uh, if I want to do a little bit more with the uh, AC stuff, I can get. Uh, an EPA license for about $300. It's good forever and would allow me to buy the refrigerants that I would need. So I don't know if it's worth investing the time and effort into that, but uh, I'll see how much I have to pay for the AC repair. Okay, and to the left and to the right. And quarter cross and quarter back. Go and blue to blue, purple to purple, red to red, black to black, and white to white. Pull these as snug, spread them apart. Um, the uh. Let's see. That's a good question. Let me see that. There we go. Um, so since we are a uh, fee, um, fee for service type business or not business, well, kind of a business, but fee for service type work. Um, and there are three other constables that also work out of the court I'm in. Uh, basically I let the, um, uh, the court staff know that I will be on vacation when I'm out, when I'm back, and they're sure they make sure not to assign me any work that would be due while I'm out that I can't get done uh, before I get back. I mean, it needs to be done before we get back that I can't do. Um, and they assign it to the other constables there. Um, and then when I get back, they start assigning it to me again. I've been doing this for about eight years, and they've been very accommodating on that. Um, so, uh, and they're happy enough with the work I do there. Uh, I make it easy for them. I don't cause a lot of problems, and uh, uh, people won't complain about me a lot. So them using me doesn't make more work for them, and they're happy with the quality I do. So... I haven't had any real issues getting regular work through them other than the fact that there's, you know, multiple constables. I'm also one of the ones where if something comes up short notice and they absolutely need to have it done, they're the ones, I'm the one that they call for that. So that's nice to know. Um, and I'm assuming that when any of the other constables go on vacation, they increase my uh, share of work to take that into account. So... That's uh, pretty much what that is. Yeah, got to scratch my arm just a little bit. Apparently, uh, I managed to give myself a little bit of sunburn trying to get that nut off yesterday. Um, I was definitely very much monofocused and frustrated, and mainly because I really couldn't go forward until I knew how bad the damage was, and I was trying not to make it worse. And I didn't make it worse, so. Uh, it was just, took a whole lot more effort than I would have preferred to do that. 
I had to use a hacksaw to uh, saw on the nut and not damage the valve uh, until I got it down to where it was just starting to peek into the thread areas and eventually use uh, like screwdriver bits and vice grips to break the nut apart. So I didn't do any saw damage on the threads. The stripping out was more than sufficient damage and I did no additional damage. So I did what I tried to do. Unfortunately, it didn't really help except to let me know where I was. So hopefully I will have an answer tomorrow as to how much it'll cost and when I can get it done. I'm really hoping and it's only like a day or two. I'm not going to be home early tomorrow because I've got a uh, point with the allergist and um, physical therapy. So I'm not going to get home till like probably 7.15 tomorrow and won't be enough time to stream or do much of anything else other than have dinner and do my exercise. Well, Given the time of day, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing another set of physical therapy exercises. So, which do seem to be helping me, and I'm looking forward to having better mobility and uh, losing some weight. Because I'm sure you've probably noticed from the camera, I do have a bit of a uh, gut, and I do need to lose weight. Plus, you guys have seen me on the shop streams if you watch those. After about 35 years of not putting pictures of me out online, it feels really weird streaming where people can see what I look like, which was also one of the things that uh, was a little disconcerting about starting the braiding. Uh, being able to do the top-down camera and focus on the braiding rather than me did kind of help with that. But yeah, I've been in IT-type work for long enough that... Uh, and being essentially just about an adult when uh, the internet started becoming a thing that uh, um, I was aware of the cautions of not like, you know, putting a lot of stuff about you online, uh, which I realize is mo mostly for like stupid stuff, but still, I just, I had a moderate online presence. I just didn't want to have it more than just general communication, so I didn't do a lot of pictures or video or whatnot, but I've gradually been doing more. Uh, I did some live streaming of uh, computer benching I did with uh, dry ice and liquid nitrogen. That was fun. Unfortunately, that's kind of hardware intensive and gets to be very frustrating uh, when you spend a lot of money for the nitrogens and the hardware. You just about got it right, and then the computer hardware just fails on you and there's no way to get it back which is of course why you pretty much bent with older equipment if you can there are people who bench on the new stuff but they usually have like sponsorships and the like and it's time to raise up the bag so let's see how much we've added since the start of the stream not too bad about that we're making some pretty good progress Yep, I've also uh, worked in retail for a while and kind of understand that. Sorry to hear that, uh, but yeah, I also understand that. I don't have the X in question. I do have an, a couple of X's, but I fortunately with almost all of them was able to part amicably and they uh, have been fairly reasonable. Um, but my wife, wife's ex-husband is... Um, has been known to be vindictive. So we tend not to interact with him much. Uh, though amusingly enough, I wound up uh, about two years after we were married um, as a uh, present birthday present for my wife, I hired her a di divorce attorney because um, the house that they had together was prior to their marriage and not discussed in the divorce at all. 
So we were able to uh, separate that out, basically force a sale. And he decided the best thing to do would be to get it sold within a day by completely uh, undervaluing his um, asking price. I mean, literally the day it went on the market, they had three offers and sold it within 24 hours for probably... At the time, it was about kind of the peak of the uh, housing market before the bubble burst. Um, and he sold it for, I think it was like 180. And it probably could have gone for about 250 to 275. Uh, but my wife was actually willing to give him the, uh, uh, the house if he would just refinance it in his name. She wasn't asking for anything. Uh, but since it had been a couple of years and he hadn't done anything on it and she was still on the uh, the deed and the mortgage, it's like, you know what, we're not really willing to risk this. Let's uh, force a partition. So, But my funniest story um, about her ex is uh, she and her ex had, uh, were separated before we started dating, but they were still living in the same house. Uh, but uh, she was, she had started dating other people. He knew this. Uh, so a couple weeks after I started uh, dating her, uh, I went ahead and uh, called up and he answered the phone. And I said, hi, is you know my future wife there? And he goes, this is her husband. And I said, I know. Can I talk to future wife? And uh, uh, apparently that left him in a bad mood for several days. But it's like, I wasn't saying anything that we didn't both know. He just did not like the fact that he wasn't able to intimidate me. And uh, I don't know if he uh, didn't think that uh, my future wife uh, had... Uh, told me about what the situation was, but yeah. I mean, they'd separate enough that they'd actually filed paperwork. So the divorce was in process um, and this had happened. So, and he's done other uh, uh, stupid things in my opinion, like he kept a uh, joint account open when she asked him to close it down and uh, eventually she went to the bank asked how much was in it uh, and there was still money in it so she asked them to transfer all that was in there into uh, another account that he had in his name only which to me seems to be a perfectly reasonable thing to do she hadn't really been putting money in there recently. She just wanted her name off of it, and he wasn't doing that. And while she was closing it down, uh, he came in the branch and was trying to make a withdrawal. And he got really upset that she had transferred the money into um, his name. And the bank teller afterwards was running, wondering, what's the problem? You gave him the money. You could have taken it all. So, yeah, I... Uh, I hope I'm able to provide my uh, wife with a much higher caliber of partner. Seems to be going to be the case. She hasn't kicked me out yet. And she puts up with a lot. She's very nice to me. I love her dearly. And I'm very, very glad that she proposed to me. Yes, I was going to propose to her. She beat me by about two or three weeks. I did not want to... Uh, overestimate how interested in me she was and uh, put her in an awkward position proposing when she wasn't going to be ready considering I'd never proposed before and uh, came home and there was a uh, ring in a box uh, sitting out on the uh, table and uh, realized what it was asked her if that was it she said it was and we were very happy Anyway, I didn't mean to be rambling, rambling too much about that. Let me catch up with chat real quick.
Thank you very much. Oh, the other amusing uh, story uh, that uh, about my wife and I getting together. We'd been dating for about six months at this time. Um, and I thought it was probably a time that I should introduce her to my folks, which, you know, were living across the country from me. And uh, we'd met through um, the histor historical groups that we were into. Um, the, uh, we had a mutual friend that introduced us who was in uh, one historical group. He was also in the historical group I was in. And we'd been to a couple of uh, uh, events that uh, both groups attended, though we hadn't met at them. So the uh, friend invited us, uh, invited me and my roommates at the time, uh, who was also friends, um, to this event. And so we went there, met, whatnot. So in addition to dating and whatnot, we've been to several of these uh, types of events as we were going along. So I knew her knew her um, by the persona name she used and that uh, her first name um, and I hadn't really pursued it beyond you know done beyond that because that's what I would call her by is her first name and uh, so anyway I call up my folks um, and want to introduce her and say, you know, hi, mom, I'd like you to meet. Hold on just a second. Cover the uh, receiver with my hand, lean over to my future wife and say, hey, what's your last name? We had a mutual roommate at the time, uh, her roommate at the time that uh, was sitting in the other room while I was doing this conversation. And she fell off the couch laughing. So, yeah, that was quite amusing. So at least it was to me. So black to black. Well, I seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, I don't think I've made any obvious mistakes since I've started tonight, uh, which given the amount of heat and the amount of sweating I'm doing right now, I figure is uh, letting me know I'm doing pretty good. I'm also directly in the path of the fan. So... Yeah, I've been at it for about 40 minutes. I will probably only run for about an hour tonight. I was hoping to do a bit more, but I think I need a bit of a break outside now that it's getting a little darker and cooling off a bit so I can cool down before I come back up here and go to sleep. We uh, do have a water bed, and it does help in weather like this because we essentially have the heater at the lowest setting. And so it tends to uh, suck extra heat out of you and makes it a little more comfortable sleeping. But assuming I get the uh, air conditioning working out in the garage, if it gets really bad, I'll probably set up a cot out there because I really do not want to cook my brain. And I'm afraid that eventually that's what might happen especially as I get older. I want to be around and coherent as long as I can, which is one of the reasons why I've been uh, spending a lot of time lately working on ongoing issues I've had, the uh, sleep, you know, being too sleepy, uh, working on physical therapy so that I can get in better shape and not have ongoing problems. So, do apologize if I'm getting a little bit rambly tonight. So, it looks like we're doing pretty good for uh, 4th of July. Been averaging about six people on the stream watching. Which for in the evening on the 4th of July is, I think, pretty darn decent. But I expect to be able to stream uh, Thursday night. And I hope it will be in an air-conditioned uh, environment. But if not, I will probably be able to do it here. Forecast Long-term forecast hasn't been too horrifying. 
Also, one of the nice things about my vacation job is I work in a trailer with air conditioning, which makes the uh, late July, early August time frame much more comfortable for me. Oops. Okay, so that got transferred. Okay, there we go. Picked up on that one fairly quickly. That's nice. And pull it snug. There we go. And counter cross and counter back. So, I probably should have waited till the end, but purple to purple, red to red, black to black, white to white, green to green, and there we go, to the left, and to the right. And pull that snug. Counter cross, counter back, and red to red. Whoops, did that wrong. Okay, red to red, black. Black, white to white, green to green, blue to blue, and I don't do the purple to purple. I just pull it snug, spread it apart. There we go. Hey, we're up to eight people, or nine according to uh, YouTube Studio. All right, let me catch up with chat. Neely Gonzalez, welcome to the stream. Um, I don't think I've seen you on before, so very uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. I will do my best to answer them and uh, make this as enjoyable as I can for you. And to the left and to the right. Let me go high. Let me lower those a bit. That makes me very happy. And that as well. And since I didn't actually throw it up, uh, and I definitely understand the uh, helping focus. Um, I usually have to, I have, uh, used to be like books and what, audiobooks and whatnot, but I do also, um, uh, do um, YouTube uh, videos, you know, live streams and the like to keep me focused. Have them running in my ear while I'm doing other things makes uh, makes it a lot easier for me to take care of that. Also, we're gonna have all of our cats freak out about. Oh, let's see, it's almost eight, so. About three and a half hours is when the uh, nearly constant fireworks start picking up here, um, and not the professional ones, the uh, people buying their stuff and setting it off. As I understand it, it's not actually fully legal, um, though I think they may have changed it um, to set them off, but they did change the law, uh, as I understand it here a while back, that it's now actually legal to be able to buy the higher end fireworks here there's some uh pretty high-end fireworks stores that are on the uh, pennsylvania new jersey border and it's not actually legal as i understand it in new jersey to buy them but people come across buy them and then go back to jersey or buy them and head to other states so 
there tends to be uh, relatively powerful fireworks available to people here in Pennsylvania. Though not necessarily to be able to set them off. Person I know online who lives near Pittsburgh and has a couple of dogs uh, gets very frustrated this time of year. White to white. Green to green, blue to blue, purple to purple, red to red, or the black snug, spread apart. I believe that's along the lines of technically correct is the best type of correct. And I'm not sure I've seen you on before, Philip, but if uh, you have been, welcome back. If you haven't, welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming by. And to the left and to the right. Now, despite YouTube saying that they were uh, uh, dropping the requirements to be monetized, I still do not see um, them reflecting that in their YouTube studio it still says I need uh, 1000 subs and 4000 watch hours in the last year. I've been uh, kind of floating around the same 1800 watch hours for a while. But that's partly due to the fact I had a fair amount of uh, people watching my soldering videos um, this time last year. And then when I went on vacation and the algorithm decided, oh, you're not uploading, your channel must be dying, uh, stopped showing it as much, and my watch hours just kind of plummeted at that point. So, but I figure if I can keep live streaming and uh, producing stuff that people enjoy with uh, the four times as many subscription subscribers to my channel, I'm hoping that the watch hours will start picking up after that, especially uh, once it starts getting uh, cooler and more people want to stay indoors rather than being out doing activities and catch the streams. I'm also hoping with my uh, warping stand that uh, I will... Uh, get my brain to function here. Uh, I'll be able to do turnarounds on Takadai braids much faster. Uh, after I get Rob's done, uh, the next one I've got scheduled is Danny on direct. Uh, Legal Vices wants one. Um, I've told uh, Legal uh, Uncivil Law that uh, he is on the uh, potential future list. But I'm not sure he really uh, knows what I'm talking about, even though Ian showed it to him. Um, but, you know, as we get closer to that point, we'll see if, uh, nope, I do not do that. I do this. We'll see if uh, it's something that he is actually interested in having. Because if people don't want it, I would rather not do it. Because uh, I prefer to make things uh, that people like. And want to have. Because nobody really likes making uh, something for somebody where it just gets tossed aside or put in storage and never really uh, appreciated for having. Which is one of the reasons why uh, I enjoy it so much when Ian brings out the braid and shows it to other people. And uh, Danny is very enthusiastic about uh, wanting a braid. So now that she's uh, back online again a bit more, uh, hopefully feeling better after her uh, dental work that uh, I'll be able to invite her on. We can discuss what type of braid she wants. Okay, let's see. We've been at it for about 50 minutes. We've got 10 people watching. I'll go for another couple of runs through. But my eyes are getting a little tired. And as I said, it's pretty warm up here. 
I have had a lot of fluid today, um, so I should be okay for that. Though when this is done, I will probably be making a run to the grocery store for some uh, seltzer and some ice cream. I know ice cream is not the best for my diet, but I do try and uh, keep it to a minimal amount per day. And my weight has not been going up, though it has not been going down because I really haven't been exercising due to a uh, physical therapist wanting me to get more strength before uh, doing more generic exercises. That's another thing I want to try and get done in the next uh, couple of days. I've got a uh, pull-up bar that uh, I got to hang off one of the rafters in my garage. And if I can figure a way that I can uh, use it without risking falling on something dangerous if I slip, um, I'll probably start using that relatively soon. I don't want to try and get the interior door jam type ones because with my luck, I pulled the door frame off and hurt myself, and I'd rather not do that. Yep, and that just sucks. And quarter across and quarter back. Another thing I'm going to want to do is my wife doesn't work too far away from where we live. Um, and has been thinking about getting some sort of like a motorized scooter or a moped or Vespa or something like that to... Uh, Did I forget to? Yep, I started the wrong process. There we go. If it doesn't do over 35, um, or I think it's if it doesn't do over 45, she can use it on the roads from here to work without having to get an extra endorsement on her license and uh, still be street legal for the full length of the trip. So she was thinking something along those lines. Fortunately, that's in a range that we can afford without too much fuss. Heck, we can order it from Amazon. She might even be able to park it in the garage. She occasionally razzes me with the fact that since we bought the house, she has never been able to park her car in the garage because I turned it into a shop relatively quickly. And quarter cross, quarter back. Let's figure that out just a little bit. And blue to blue, purple to purple, red to red, black to black, white to white. And just have a little bit on the green. There we go. Okay. And to the left, to the right, pull snug, quarter across, quarter back, and purple to purple, red to red, black to black, white to white. Green to green, 
and pull the blue snug. And once more into the breach. And quarter across and quarter back. And red to red, black to black, white to white, green to green, blue to blue, all the purple, spread it apart, and red to red, and quarter cross back and black to black white to white green to green blue to blue purple to purple and red separate it and black to black, that snug, quarter across, quarter back, take that a little bit so it's more in the center, and white to white, green to green, blue to blue. If anybody has anything they would like to ask before I end the stream, now is probably a good time to ask. I think I'll wrap it up after this one. Since we are at our rainbow position, hope everybody has a wonderful 4th of July. And uh, give you folks a minute here. Hmm. Sorry, a little bit of yawning there. And uh, again, I will go ahead and uh, stream this Thursday night, most likely. Unless something weird comes up. And uh, hope everybody has a wonderful fourth, which I think I've said a couple of times already. So don't see any uh, questions or anything like that. So everybody have a good evening. And uh, stay safe and happy braiding. And yes, I am definitely going to be cooling off.